decoy. as I do. Intelligence blew it. They miscalculated the tides. Everybody killed? Yeah. They picked off most of the guys when the landing craft was hung up on the coral. Our boat got through. We were lucky. What are we going to do? I mean, what are we going to do? We're going to have an all-expense paid vacation on a tropical island. <laughs> before? No. Should I? No. I guess not. I never got any further than Class C. Binghamton. Had a contract with the Yankees. Pitching. Oh. 
Do you follow baseball? No. Not very much. <clears throat> Toss the ball around a little with my nine-year-old. That's about all. Are you any good? Stinks. He's a sheep. <sighs> oh. You're right, Bo. We gotta stay alive. Sure we do. <laughs> What I mean is, there must be something else besides baseball and your kid that two guys like us can talk about. Yeah, lots of things. Try to get some sleep, huh? like me to do? Want me to take out my trusty little scalpel and operate? Or maybe you'd like me to run down to the corner drugstore and get a prescription filled, huh? I did some scouting today. Huh? I found the Jap outpost. Yeah. It's only about a half a mile from here. I didn't see all of them, but from the looks of it, why, there couldn't be more than well, a handful of them. You lousy Jeffs wipe out a whole attack from us. I told you the boats got hung up. Why? Why would anybody want this place? A few lousy Jabs. I don't know. Let me look at your back. Pull. It's bad, isn't it? Mo, you gotta do something. If it gets any worse, I'll die. Just from the pain alone, maybe. Boy, you must have been one hell of a bad pitcher. Oh, no. Really. You must have been one hell of a bad pitcher. You ever had the bases loaded against you and nobody out? Sure. Lots of times. What'd you do then? I prayed. You what? I prayed. You prayed? That. Something to make you sleep, that's all. Praying is good, Mo. It helps a lot. But you just keep on praying. As well as you know how. Mo. Well, most of the time, I got out of it. Watch the store. We're going to find out what kind of a pitcher I am.
Well, Ma, this is what you've always dreamed of. Your son. Oh, the doctor. God help me. Included in the room, Rand. Oh. All this stuff. Where'd you get it? Um, I bought it. There's a PX on the other side of the island. You always have to be kidding around. Well, now, where do you think I get it? The Japs? You mean you, you snuck in there and stole all this stuff from the Japs? I'm a hero. Oh, you could have got yourself killed. Sure, I could have. I told you, I'm a hero. Oh, Mo. You shouldn't have stuck your neck out like that for me. Well, just what makes you think it was for you? Well, what I mean is, well, all the medicine and stuff. It... So it isn't possible I could get sick? Mo? Hmm? I don't know if I'd have had the guts to do it. Some guts. What kind of guts does it take to stay alive? Do you have any trouble? Mm -mm. Of course, one of those Jap soldiers is going to have some explaining to do. Oh, what happened? Well, I made it look like he broke into the sock. <laughs> I took this out of your back. Keep it for a souvenir. Mo, that was a damn fine thing to do. You stop. Look, everything I do for you, I do for selfish reasons. If you die, I'll be left here alone, right? I go out of my mind in a week. So let's not get all sticky with gratitude every time I open a canteen and splash a little sulfur on your back. Okay, Mo. I'm just gonna say it one more time. Thanks. It's my pleasure. a stupid thing to do. What? Call him out like that. What if it was a Jap? Uh, I'm sorry, Mo. I wasn't thinking. But you've got to think. 
The Japs don't know we're here. Even if they came by the cave, they wouldn't bother to look in here. Not unless they heard some guy yelling for Mo. Damn it, I, I told you I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Where'd you go today? Over to the Jap camp again. Okay. Is that all you did all day? Watch the Jap camp? You know, I took a look at the other side of the island. Oh? What's over there? Oh, let's see. There's a, a big restaurant, theater, nice little bar, Balinese dancing oh, girls. Come on, pal, come on. Okay. There's a lagoon. It's quite a place. I took a bath. Hey, would you take me over there? Sure. As long as you're strong enough. Well, I'm strong enough, Mo. It doesn't hurt much anymore. I can't use my legs, but it doesn't hurt. Would you carry me over there? Yeah. Tomorrow, maybe. If I'm strong enough. Oh, I really feel great today. I sure needed to get out of that stinking cave. Hey, maybe we can come down here every day, huh? Sure. Bo, you know there's fish in there? Uh-huh. Hey, maybe you'll catch us a couple of those beauties for dinner tonight. What is it? Listen. in five minutes. Mo, Mo, you gotta do something. He'll go back and tell the rest. up on this stuff a little. To Mo Malaman, killer. I guess everybody should celebrate their first kill, huh? Knock it off, will you? Why should I? Took the army three months to teach me how to be a killer. And I didn't let him down. It was you or him, Mo. Sure. Mo, he was just a jab. Just a jab. Mm. I wonder if he killed me. 
Maybe you figured I was just an American. Killing's part of it. Well, I'm not just an American. I'm Mo Malaman, a 35-year-old accountant with a wife and a kid. Knock it off, Mo. It's all over. Is it? You know, I, I'd rather be a, a bombardier and, and kill a thousand people all at once. At least you wouldn't have to look at their faces. They say the first one's the hardest. Well, they're wrong. The first one's the easiest. It's the next one that's hard. And the one after that. And you can't tell me that, that you ever get used to it. The, the first one's easy because, well, you, you don't know how you're going to feel afterwards. It's nothing to be afraid of. Because it's just you or him, and that's all there is. But the next time, you know, it's going to be both of you, no matter what happens. I wonder who he was. I think maybe he was a 35-year-old accountant. Well, so what are you looking? Everybody's got clay feet. The first one's easy. to get up in the morning on time and make the battlefield. You were really stiff. Yeah. I don't drink very much. My wife usually keeps an eye on me at parties. She knows just when to start yakking. Well, it did you good. You got a lot of things off your chest, Mo. Yeah, I guess. Mo, you know we're really in a lot of trouble. Tell me about it. I mean, they're bound to find us sooner or later. No, not necessarily. Not as long as our muzzle holds out. Our what? Our luck. Oh. Yeah, to hell with the Japs. I'm going to get us a fish for dinner. You think it's safe? I feel like living dangerously. Where are you going, to the lagoon? No. There's a little cove on the other side of the island. I ought to be able to snag something there. I don't know, Mo. Well, what do you want? You want to keep on eating those crummy rations? Besides, we're almost out. I'd rather take a chance on the cove than go sneaking back into that Jeff camp again. Be careful, huh? I never would have thought of that.
strike. Bury him? Yeah. Mo? Well, what? It wasn't so bad. Killing that Jap, I mean. I'm glad. Did you ever read a play called The Time of Your Life? Mm hmm. Soraya. Well, he's got a line in there. I played a part in it in school, so I remember. The line goes, have no shame in being kindly and gentle. But if the time comes in the time of your life to kill, kill and have no regret. I felt funny for a while. Then I thought about that line. Hey, Mo, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that whistle you wear around your neck? <laughs> That's a mezuzah. Oh? A good luck charm. It's kind of like a O. St. Christopher's medal. Brings you that muzzle I was telling you about. Well, uh, order about six dozen, will you? Oh, sure. Mo, I've been thinking. I think we can get rid of the rest of those Japs. Yeah. How? Uh, we got a bunch of grenades left, don't we? Yeah. Five or six. Well, why couldn't we go up to that ledge? You know the one where you go to look at them? We can heave in the grenades, and the ones we don't get with grenades, we can pick off with the rifles. I don't know. Oh, there are only about 15 of them. We could do it easy. So many things could go wrong. What happens if they're not all there when, when we hit them? Well, we'll get them in the morning, before they get up. What about Sunday? Say about uh, seven o'clock. Tomorrow's Sunday. Is it? Then we'll give it a try. Okay, tomorrow morning. 
we'll have our own little Pearl Harbor. What was that? You think you can crawl about 10 yards? I think so. Hey, what's going on? By the formation. Wow. This is even better. This will be a cinch. Start holding out the grenades. Oh, my God. Oh, what does it mean? I don't know. Mo, oh, the war. Could it be over? I, I, I don't know. Mo. Mo! Do you know what this means? This means we don't have to whisper anymore. Our boys will get us. We're free, Mo. Free. Oh, do you realize what this means? Yeah. It means I gotta bury him before the sun gets too hot. some of the tubes have burned out. Oh, that's great. That's great. Just when I figured we'd radio for help and be off this place in a couple of days. Oh, we'll think of something. Maybe we'll send them a telegram, huh? Hey, wait a minute. We're free, remember? You're the one who said it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I guess I was just expecting some kind of miracle or something.
He's got a size bigger than Durante's. Could he be Durante's son, I ask you? Son, he could be a stand-in. Uh, hey. hey, you know something, Mo? Uh, it's not so bad. We can still laugh. Oh, uh, somehow we'll make it. Yeah, I'm sure hey. we will. Hey. hey, you know, he looks a little bit like my Uncle Morris. Well, well, we got to call him something. If he's going to be in the family, we may as well call him Uncle Morris. Ooh, Uncle Mo hey, Uncle Morris. Very easy, yeah. <laughs> Uncle Morris, talk to your nephew. Hey. Say something to your nephew, Uncle Morris. <laughs> Oh, that was the best meal I ever ate. Oh, cut it out, will you? No kidding. You know, you're going to make somebody a terrific wife someday. How'd you make this soup, anyway? Oh, I found some potatoes or something down by the camp. I just boiled them up, that's all. That sure is terrific. Hey, how much do you think Campbell's would pay for that recipe, anyway? Oh, a million and a half. If we could come up with some fancy name for it. Well, we could... We could call it blood. No. Well, it looked like blood, didn't it? Well, yeah. Kind of. But you can't very well call it that. People don't like to discuss that sort of thing at mealtime. Well, uh, maybe we'll give it a little class. We'll call it cream of blood. I'm afraid we'll have to do a little more thinking. It's really peaceful, isn't it? Boy, I'd like to have a broad here right now. Well, wouldn't you? I'd like Helen to be here. You know, they'll tell her you're dead. Yeah. I try not to think about it. You, Mo? No, it's General MacArthur, and I have returned. Comedian. Ah. Uh, where you been all day? <clears throat> How's the therapy going? Fine. It's driving me nuts. Where you been all afternoon? On the beach. Fishing? No. Swimming? Nope. Just sat. Again? Yeah, again. Look, okay, you don't have to get mad, you know. Shoot that thing away, will you? What's that? The fly, shoot it away. So I didn't even feel it. Hey, what's for chow? I'm starving. Steak. What the hell is eating you anyway? Nothing. I told you we were gonna have steak. What's the matter, you don't like steak? I love steak. All right, you're gonna get steak. Make mine medium rare. Oh, that's hysterical. Well, I'm just trying to be pleasant. You started it. Well, don't. You know what? No. What? This, this whole thing is backwards. What do you mean by that? I mean, I'm getting tired of thinking for the two of us. But I suppose you'd like to change places with me, huh? I got it made. Where are you going now? I'm going to build another fire. A lot of good that'll do. You ought to know by now, nobody will see it. So I'll use it to cook the steaks on. Fine. <laughs> Yeah. 
getting so sick of fish, even he's beginning to look good to me. Oh, he didn't mean it, Uncle Morris. Hey, Mo. Uh, I think he's ready to talk. Oh? So we'll have the only bilingual bird on the island, huh? You said it. Hey, I, you know, I got a terrific routine worked out with him. I say to him, say something, Uncle Morris. And he says to me, don't be silly. Birds can't talk. Maybe when we get back to the States, I can book him in a nightclub, huh? We'll never get back, Mo. We'll get back. How do you figure we're gonna get back? We'll just keep lighting fires till somebody sees them. Do you know how long you've been doing that? Mo, we gotta do something. I miss everybody. Everything. Even the people I hated. Mo, I wanna go home. One lousy life and I gotta live it here? Mo, I tell you, I want to go home! You think yelling's gonna help? Well, what will? I've been here six months. Seven. So seven. It's like seven years for me. You don't know what it's like. Tell me. For you, it's okay. I'm the one that suffers. Oh, no. I've got it real nice. I'm your cook, your butler, your nursemaid, and your bodyguard. You got it like royalty, and you don't even know it. Sure, you got your troubles, but live with them, will you? I'm here, and you're here, and I'm going to take care of you. You could have ended up alone. You might be alone yourself. I might, and I'd be a lot better off. Taking care of a wife and a kid, that's one thing. But out here on this godforsaken island with a crypt, I'm no savior! Kill me then! Slit me open like one of your fish! You already did a pretty good job with your little operation here. Well, kill me! And go live on the other side of the island by yourself, you lousy yellow coward! Well, go ahead! Go on! I had to let you starve for a crack like that. Sure. I figured you for something like that. Like today, I said to myself, he's not coming back. I'll starve. Well, I wouldn't put it past you. I ought to let you rot. I ought to move to the other side of the island and let you rot. You would, wouldn't you, Malaman? You lousy Jew. <laughs> that cuts it. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Ma. I'm sorry. Don't tell me that's been part of it all this time. No. You just couldn't help saying it. I didn't mean it. I know. But you said it. You know what I hope? I hope some miracle happens and we get away from here. You're going to be sensational when you get back home. The girls, the Yankees, they're all going to be fighting for you. You know what you're going to give them? Nothing. Because that's what you've got to give. Nothing. And don't you ever think there's any kind of magic cure? Because there isn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Who the hell cares if you're sorry? I feed you, I wash you, I talk to you like a kid. I treat you like my own kid. Oh. I know it, Mo. Yes. Yes, sir. So now you think I'll really run out on you, don't you? But I won't. And I wonder if you understand why I won't. Mo, please. Shut up! Mo! I'm sorry, Mo! Mo, please! I'm sorry! Please, Mo!
I missed. Uh, I missed. your shoulder. Why? What do you expect from me? I'm no leader. I'm a guy who follows the leader. I got nothing left inside. It's going to take a miracle and miracles don't happen. What do you expect? A messiah with an airplane ticket? Well, messiahs don't come except in finals and talmuds. I'm right. Miracles don't happen. Come on, Uncle Morris. Let's take a walk. time you like. For a couple of days if you want to. Okay. For the 4th of July, I'll get reservations on the other side of the island. Now sack out, huh? Oh, I got a 
that temperature. Go to sleep. See San Francisco. Hey, buddy. Hey, you know this stuff's even better cold than hot. You better remind the Campbell people to put serve hot or cold on the labels. Uh, how's the shoulder? Oh, it's better. It's all right, I guess. It's my pitching arm. Your ex pitching arm. Yeah. Say, so why don't you, why don't you go take a swim, Mo? I'll lay here in the sun a while. Tell him? But what if they're not ours? Or what if they are and they don't see us? Can't straighten out his aim this time. Please. Please. Will somebody tell me what to do? Just say, tell him or don't tell him. Why does everything have to be left up to me? You! Why did you have to come? Toast. Hey, you better not get too much sun. Bit quite a while, you know. Uh, I must have fallen asleep. Hey, you've been gone a long time. Yeah, I swam over to the other side. How come? For a change, a swim. Well, what's over there? Ocean. So is there ocean over here? So. So what else? Why are you turning your back on me, Mo? What's over there? Airplanes. Airplanes and ships. Uh, I'm sorry, Mo. Honest, I don't know what I've got it good. I don't know what I think you got over there. Or what kind of a boat you can build. I mean, you're not even the kind of a guy that could build a boat. Even this backrest slants funny. It's just that when you go away for such a long time, I, I, I begin to think you got something over there, that's all. There's nothing over there but airplanes and ships. Okay, Mo. The 
Listen, would you take me over by the water? Sure. Noises, Mo. I hear noises. Hmm. Yeah, it's just a nightmare. Go to sleep. Mo, I wasn't sleeping. I was just lying here, thinking. And I heard noises. I'm hearing things. It's just a wind. Go to sleep. Mo, there is no wind. No, that's good. It's just, it's just that everything was going okay. I did like you said, tried to make the best of things. But now I'm hearing things. Mo, is it gonna start all over again? all this time? No. The way you look at me, you think I got a zoo on the other side of the island. Well, I used to. But when the airplanes landed, the propellers chopped it out of the peacocks and I had to sell out. Now, wait a minute. Don't get mad. I didn't say you put him here. The way you look at me. Where did he come from? I don't know. I don't know. Who put him here? God. God put him here. That goat is the savior. God's manifested himself in a goat. Where did he come from? From heaven, you idiot. Where do you think God is? Uh, oh, a goat. God, a goat? I think I hear it. That's only the water. Six-year-old suggested that, that they turn the whole world into a circus. 
And the Pacific was to be a, a zoo, an asylum for goats. Going home. 